had a chance to speak today with two people who filed restraining orders against Peter Karsis. One woman filed hers back in 2013, but she is still so shaken by her experience with him that she didn't want to talk to me on camera. She was too scared. But the other person who filed one in 2015 did share his story. Get off of That's right, I'm a fat Show me how yeah, fat you are, mother why don't you show the camera what you just did to me? When Richard Rogers saw this video of Peter Karzis getting physical with news crews, he wasn't surprised. That's what I say. Cut it off. Hey, Stop it. Come on. Come on. Give me some more. He took pride and making people really feel threatened. Richard says his friendship with Peter started out great. I got to like him, we got along, we were friends, you know, we had coffee together. In 2015, Richard rented a room in the back of Peter's clothing store on La Mesa Boulevard, but within four months, their relationship quickly deteriorated. He says, if you, if you come back in this place, I'm gonna kill you and I'll never find your body. I told the police, I went, well, we can't do anything about that. I said, well, I'm, I'm heading out, so I haven't, I haven't seen him since. Richard filed a restraining order that included a profanity-laced handwritten note. He says Peter left on his door, saying, you need to be out or I'll put you out, and you will not like that. He went ballistic, you know, he, he was threatening me every day. Peter's former next-door neighbor also filed a restraining order against him, claiming in 2013, Pete smeared dog feces on my garage door and driveway, came into my garage screaming obscenities and calling me foul names. He continues on a daily basis to intimidate me. I am scared of what he will do next. Report you. Call the cop. After yesterday's incident with the media, Peter took off, but police arrested him this morning and charged him with felony vandalism for breaking a camera and a misdemeanor battery charge. I would like him to have some help and get back in control and uh, get back to being the person that you know, I'd like him to be because he already is that. And court records show that Peter Karzis has been in trouble with the law before. In fact, back in 2013, he pleaded guilty to a DUI. But Marcella and Carlo, in talking to Richard, he says at times Peter can be so charismatic, such a nice guy. That's why he was friends with him. But then he said other times without warning, he would turn into this person who was very scary.